Struggling with contact on short chips? Let me give you a couple of simple pointers that'll help you with that part of your game. Hi, I'm Jason King for Australian Golf Digest TV. Today I'd like to play a few chip shots for the viewers at home and see the things that keep popping up in lessons. I guess we're talking about club golfers here and new golfers to the game. Short shots become extremely difficult because we're only trying to land the ball a short distance and I guess that's the idea of a chip that it's going to roll more than it flies and a pitch would fly more than it rolls, if that makes sense. So when we chip the ball, we're trying to run it out a little bit like a putt. So that does a couple of things for the golfers at home. Firstly, I think it gets the ball too far back in the stance because straight away they think that if they have it back, that the ball will roll out. And then again, they seem to think that if they aim to the left, that it's gonna help them block their wrists at the bottom. The problem with this is with that open stance, and with that backward ball position, all of a sudden at the bottom of the swing, that right wrist stays in extension and that club head stays too high. So we get golfers diving after it, thinning it, fatting it. A lot of variations can happen from there. What I tend to see with the top players is as they're over a chip shot, they don't really have the ball too far back. It's almost in the middle to slightly forward. And at the bottom of the swing, it seems that they're actually getting further away from the ball as they line that club up. I don't see too many club golfers doing this. What I see with the club golfers is at the bottom of the swing, they seem to be getting closer to it. As I said, when you hinge the wrists and you keep them hinged at the bottom, that club head's high and then you've got to move towards the ball. So moving towards the ball at the bottom of the swing, I would never encourage that, never a great idea. So let me demonstrate the proper fundamentals for a chip shot. First thing I'm gonna set up with our ball position pretty neutral. The shaft of the golf club doesn't have a lot of lean at the start. So I wanna feel that through the ball, I'm able to use my body to make a pivot and help line that club up. That'll tend to make the through swing quite short on a chip and that's something that I see with the best players. When they swing through to a finish, they tend to point the club to the ground in front of them. They don't have a lot of re-hinging and bent left elbows and they don't have poor wrist angles like you see with a lot of the club golfers. I think that's almost like they're trying to help the ball in the air because they're hitting two down on it with that backward ball position. All right, so ball position in the middle of the stance, perhaps a slight hinge on the way back, push the body up to extension and point the club to the ground in front of you. I really think that'll help you hit better chip shots, but if you're struggling with your game, get in and see your local PGA professional or come and see me, Jason King, Director of Golf at the Linwood Country Club.